If you already have a particle then you can skip this part. If you still don't know much about particles then this should help you. If you are not satisfied with a particle try experimenting with its properties to make it look better. By changing the properties a lot you can notice massive changes to the particle. So for this video I'll show you three different particle scripts, the easy one, the one for many particles, and the toggle one. Let's start with the easy and simple one. First make a folder on replicated storage and name it auras, then place all your auras into the folder. After placing them in a folder, Add a local script to starter pack, you can name it whatever you like. Now simply follow what I do, and I'll also put explanations on what each line does. User input service is basically a service that detects when you click a key. Player is well, the player and character is the player's body. As for the cooldown, it adds a cooldown to whenever you can activate the aura. The The key is whatever key you want it to be on your keyboard. As for this line, this begins the script when you press a key. Is typing means if a player is typing on chat, this makes it so that when you are typing on chat the script ends. Now for the key pressed line, it means that if you are pressing the assigned key, the script would continue and fire the remote. But since we don't have a remote yet, Add a remote on the local script. Then inside the remote, add a script. This makes it so that when the remote is fired, the script activates. Aura is where the aura is located. Then clones it. Aura.parent is where the aura will be located. You can change it to whatever part of the player's body you want it to be. The wait represents how long until the aura fades away. You can change it to how many seconds you like. Then after the wait, you make the aura fade away then destroy. So now, make a different key with a different value. You can change it to whatever key you want. Now copy and paste this whole part. Then just assign them different numbers such as 1 and 2, but if you only want one aura then no need for this.
By the way put one only if it's the first aura, if it's the second then put two, if it's the third put three. And so on and so forth. But since it's the first then put one, make this so that the one on the local script will be linked onto this one. Now let's continue to the second one, just duplicate the first script and we will just do little changes. For the second script, we'll just modify some stuff, which is to change the aura that you want, make sure it is the same as the one on the replicated storage, then you can also modify on which part of the body you want the aura to be in. I forgot to mention this earlier, but this is how you add sound effects. First find a good sound. Then copy the ID and paste it onto here. Now start modifying stuff in the script and copy what I do. Change the variable from 1 to 2 then after. Start changing the aura to what you want the aura to be. Make sure you don't misspell and type exactly the aura from replicated storage. Just like what we did earlier, we duplicate the previous script, assign a new key and change it to whatever key bind you want. We remove some parts of the script that won't probably be needed. Then we duplicate another one of the scripts and start working on it. So now if your aura has a lot of particle emitters on it, copy and paste this part of the script depending on how many the particle emitters are. Then assign the auras with numbers so the script won't be confused. So for now, let us transfer this down below. After that we duplicate this function and place it right below the original one, then we change it a bit. Now select the auras and delete it, then we replace them with this.
Bruh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>